Well, Zion, I just found on YouTube a video called Rated T for Tolerance. Basically, it's a uh, Christian lady going on about the LGBT and, and Christianity. It's, you know, I've been through so much abuse as a child, being brought up in this sort of thing. And it's got to a point that I am standing up that no more hatred, no more... I don't want somebody to go through what have I been through in life. Um, because... No, I have to stand up and say something about this so that nobody gets hurt and then people, this, I hope this person will wake up and see what she is doing. Okay, first of all, I've written down, when there is true love, there is true freedom. And when there is true freedom, there is true peace. It is up to you to love and to be instead of right relying on your own personal Jesus. To be born again would only happen if you had to reclone yourself in your self-constructed artificial womb and then transferring your consciousness from the dead body into the reborn baby. Love is light and does not come with a price. It is not commercial, it is cosmic. And true love has no conditions, borders and boundaries. I fail to accept love to be associated with a murder, a crucifixion of any person or living being murdered on a cross. There is no such thing as a God Please wake up. You say love has a price and then why do you complain about so society selling something you must understand as love. I do apologize that what you are saying is ignorant. You are in the matrix. You are in mind programming. You are not thinking for yourself. You're not thinking for others. You're not co connecting to your consciousness. Your light consciousness. Your Christ consciousness. I do apologize that this is rather disturbing. And I find that what are you saying has soiled the music. What I find is sick and disturbing when you candy coat hate with beautiful music. Government church, government church. Who is influencing the one or the other? Seriously. I'm not that stupid. Being gay, lesbian, transsexual and all that it is not a lifestyle. People are naturally like this. They genetically like this. Look it up. And sorry to say the, the ending of your video. Really, it's an oxymoron. Dear Missy, first of all, you say that homosexuality is not genetically. It's not being genetic. Now explain a transsexual, explain a hermaphrodite. Now it's been proven genetically. It exists in nature. It exists in science. There's evidence in science that homosexuality is what it is hello there I'm sorry to say but you are rather dictating and enforcing fear of people burning in the lake of fire and flames which is basically 
been programmed into you and it's a, a rubbish. The poison of the man, you can choose your own fate. Seriously, you're basically telling people to fear this monster kind of god kind of thing, you know. What? You call it a part of love as fornicate? Seriously? To generalize that anyone who's gay, lesbian, or anyone that's LGBTI uh, being unfit for donating blood for HIV is just damn stupid and ignorant. I, that just like blows my mind that you just say HIV can infect anybody, even straight people. Are you bonkers? <laughs> Sure, it is discrimination to general generalize a, a certain a, a, a sex orientation and gender orientation as being um, HIV carriers. Uh, it's it's you know it is generalization. It's just doffed. I just it is discrimination, really.